All right, today I'll be installing a new stereo in the TJ. I'll show you what I got here right now. I have this Pioneer DIN and a half unit. It's uh, actually working just fine. It's been a great stereo. I really like having it in there because I'm not worried about anyone stealing it. Uh, not worried if it gets a little wet or dirty or muddy. But one thing that has come to annoy me is when Apple changed their phones um, you no longer have the headphone jack you have the lightning only and this stereo here does have an aux in but it's only through uh, this wired unit here so that was fine when I had a separate charging cord and headphone jack because I could keep my phone powered on um, or charging while I ran music through it but now that I only have one cord, I can only charge. I can't run through the stereo. So I went to this unit here, which does Bluetooth. But unfortunately, every time you get in and out of the Jeep, you got to turn this thing on or off. If you leave it on and walk away, your phone is still connected to it, even though the Jeep is off. And then if you uh, don't, at some point it will time out and then you got to turn it back on. So it's just annoying. So I'm uh, going to be installing uh, this Kenwood stereo here just a single din because it is a single din um, I'm going to be putting this adapter in also to fill in the space so I'm just going to kind of go through this it this is already aftermarket if it was factory there would be uh, generally an adapter that you can buy that will just plug right in um, I'm not exactly sure what's behind this dash because I wasn't the one that installed the stereo so hopefully um, there's plenty to work with there to get the new one installed Take one screw here behind the ashtray. And there should be some screws up here on top. All right, that was simple. So two screws on top and then one in the, uh, the ashtray. That looks like this is held on with two uh, bolts here. All right, this is a three eighths. All right, that's the old unit out. Hopefully there wasn't a CD in there. If there was, I don't know what it would have been. And I'll check out the adapter. This should allow for the single DIN unit. All right, so it wants me to cut and remove all the mounting tabs except for the shaded ones. As you can see, this has a lot of options on it that are getting in the way. So it looks pretty close. I'm going to go ahead and cut those off with some uh, side cutters. I think that's gonna work. I'm gonna trim this part out. All right, everything clicked in. Seems good and solid in there. So, now I just need to go through and, and wire it up. This is the wire connector they gave me. It's different than the one already in here. The one in here has been spliced to the factory set. So this was probably installed before they had adapters or they just didn't get one, which is fine. But I'm probably gonna trim this back to the factory wire and then connect it 
at that point rather than having factory wire this wire and then the final all right for this i'm planning to use these low temp waterproof solder connections you just put it together you can hit it with a, a lighter or a heat gun and it will melt the solder in there puts everything together also squeezes it tight for waterproof i use these fittings on my pool lights uh, almost two years ago and they're submerged 24 7 and still work uh, just fine so they did remain waterproof All right, before I go any further, I want to just dry plug this thing in and make sure it's working. Alright, I'm just going to plug my phone in to the USB because the antenna is not connected yet. Bluetooth isn't set up yet. It's got a cover on here. USB popped up right away. Alright. Sound like it was all working. I'm going to finish mounting this up. All right, so there it is installed. Other than the fact that it's really clean and everything else is dusty, more or less fits right in. And I uh, already did the sound check on it earlier, as you heard. I'm gonna go ahead and through and go ahead and go through all the programming, and get it set up. But I'm not gonna bore everyone with that. Just follow the uh, directions. Usually pretty straightforward. And that'll be all. Thanks.